I am an entire year older today, probably with a bit more aches and pains now just because I'm a year older. But birthdays are a bit of an odd thing for me. When I was younger, I've always wanted to be older. When I was 13 or 14, I would say, I'm going to be 15 or I'm going to be 16. Even if the year had just started and my birthday is in June, I'm always eager to say how old I'm going to be just because I'm older. And so people take me more seriously that way. In my 20s, when someone asked me for my age a day before my birthday, I would tell them how old I was on that day. And then the day after, I'd tell them how old I had turned on that day. When I hit my 30s, I completely stopped telling people my age. I just let them guess and I agreed with them. Most of the people guessed that I was in my mid-20s or late-20s and I agreed. So whoever wanted to know my age never really got to know my actual age at all. It doesn't matter anyway, age is but a number. There was always a saying as I was growing up, a year older, a year wiser. I didn't really agree with that initially or probably I didn't understand the value of it when I was younger. But as I grew older, I found it to be true, really true, because you gain a lot more experience, you gain a lot more maturity with years. The last couple of years, birthdays never really meant so much to me. It was never about the parties, it was never about the presents, it was never about going on holiday. Going on holidays for birthdays and anniversaries was just an excuse. It was to try and remember what I did for each year. But if you ask me what I did last year, I don't even remember what I, where I went or what I did. While I don't remember everything about every birthday, the memories and the experiences are always special. It doesn't mean that I've forgotten it though. It doesn't mean that I don't appreciate what people have given me or what people have done for me for my birthday. I'm extremely, extremely appreciative of everything and very, very grateful for it too. Gifts is just not my thing. I would rather not have a lot of gifts or even expensive gifts. For this year's birthday, we came back to Glasgow since the rules for lockdown was eased. So we celebrated her birthday in my mother's new house. She timed everything so perfectly well. She desperately wanted to move to this house just before my birthday so we could celebrate it here. We had a nice quiet dinner in my mom's house last night and cut cakes and I opened some presents. As usual, my family came bearing some gifts. I just wanted to share it with you. Since gifts really isn't my thing, I told Lakshman I didn't want any gifts. We've come to a point where we just buy anything and anytime we want it. We don't really wait for Christmas or birthdays, so that really isn't relevant to me anymore. My mother-in-law gave me an ornament that says laugh and she gave me a nice summery dress also. And this one is from Quiz. My nieces gave me a frame and my nieces are only 5, 3 and 1. So obviously they didn't do it, but my sister-in-law did it on behalf of them. It's some of the pictures that I've taken with them and it's one of those sweetest things ever. My in-laws also gave me dresses. This is the pinafore kind of a dress and this is another summery dress. The last gift is from my mother and she got me an Apple Watch. Usually, Apple products will excite me so much. I love Apple a lot. I love my Apple phones and MacBooks and AirPods and everything else. But Apple Watch is something that I've never really been fond of. Lakshman has had his Apple Watch for four years now, maybe even five years, I don't remember so much. But I've never really been fond of his watch, never wanted to try it, never wanted one for myself. Had I thought that I wanted an Apple Watch, I would have bought one long back. My mother knew that I wanted a different watch. Now the one that I use on a daily basis is an Armani watch that I got four years ago and I've been telling that I wanted to get another watch. But she wasn't really sure what I wanted. Neither was I actually. I didn't really know what kind of watch I wanted because I hadn't really spent time looking at any other watches so much. I felt so guilty when I saw it. She's just moved and she spent so much money while gift is not my thing. I felt as if I wasn't appreciating it. And that's how I always feel when I look at other gifts. When people give me something, I always feel bad that they've spent so much money for me. And when I have that guilt, it feels as if I'm not appreciating what they've done for me. 
and it feels as if I'm not being grateful for receiving such lavish gifts, I've been extremely blessed. I know that I am extremely privileged compared to many people in the world. Even in the family that I was born into and the family that I'm married into, everyone is always showering me with love and gifts. So when I get so many things during Christmas or birthday or any time actually, all of my trips and everything, when I have the guilt that people have spent so much money and time for me, it feels as if I'm ungrateful and I'm unappreciative of everything that they've done for me. Which leads me on to something that I have been thinking in the last couple of weeks building up to my birthday. I came across something somewhere about gratitude. It is very important to be grateful for everything that you have. And it's very important to acknowledge that on a daily basis. Exercising gratitude on a daily basis improves not only your mental health but your physical health also. In the current climate that we are living in, it's really easy to emphasize on the challenges that we are facing rather than being grateful for what we have. I've always been the kind of person who is aware of my surrounding and always appreciative and value what I have. I do have my bits and pieces of grumbling here and there, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those extremely positive people. I find that really abnormal. I just can't be extremely, extremely positive. But I would prefer looking at a better side of things rather than the bad side of things. While I always acknowledge that I am privileged and blessed and I'm grateful for it, I've never really noted it down. I've never really penned it down and recorded it. So I've decided leading up to my birthday that I was going to start a project, a gratitude project and I would love for you to join along with me if you can. I've never been good at 365 days of photo, I've just never been consistent with it. I've never been consistent with so many things in the past but this is one thing that I want to be consistent on. Some of the experts on gratitude talk about listing out three things that you're grateful for that morning or maybe even in the evening. I don't know if I can commit to doing three things every single day for 365 days or not, but I want to start somewhere. So I'm going to start with listing out one thing that I'm grateful for that day, and I'm going to do it by end of the day, by evening or by end of the day. I'm going to record this on Instagram, so I'll probably build up a hashtag for it, maybe hashtag 365 days of gratitude project. Maybe stuff my name somewhere in there so I know that's mine and I can go back and refer to it. But still, that's what I want to do. Starting from today, the 25th of June of 2020, I want to start recording one thing that I'm grateful for every single day for 365 days. Being grateful actually increases your satisfaction in life. It increases your engagement with your environment, with things around you, which is extremely important. Being present in your own life is so important in today's day and age, as opposed to scrolling through Instagram or living vicariously through someone else's life. This is to build up my own mental health, to build up my own physical health, and to be appreciative of what I have, and to change my mindset from looking at the things that God has provided and done for me as opposed to the things that's not working my way for me. If you decide to give it a go at all, tag me on Instagram so I can see it also and I can follow you along your journey. It's going to be an interesting one, I can surely tell. What I'm more excited for is to see how I view things now, to be more aware of my views and opinions about everything around me and my reaction towards things. It's always better to be proactive rather than reactive and that's what I'm interested in seeing how things are going to change for me now. That's all I wanted to share today. I hope you would join me in this journey and keep me accountable especially. If I've forgotten something, give me a nudge if I always need that. Also, thank you so much to everyone who's wished me on social media, personal texts and calls and you know, all of your time and effort that you have spent on it, it may seem as if it's easy and it's a quick happy birthday message on Facebook, but I know it's taken you thought and time to do it and I truly, truly appreciate you for doing that for me. Have a blessed day. Bye.